and thank you as well for doing this for us, giving us a moment to chat, to reflect, and mm. it's safe. We don't get that a lot, you know, oh. from someone who also understands the process, the journey, the environment. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. I could take my wig off to that. Ah! <laughs> but I won't. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Pick it up. We've laughed and laughed <laughs> and laughed. The world is enamored not only with her incredible beauty, but her exceptional talent. Make no mistake, she's not a newcomer in the game. You are studied, you are prolific, you are professional, you are seasoned, you are sensational, you are all of these things and so much more. But most importantly, you are with us today yes. on the Five Minute Call. Woo! Amazing storyteller, leading lady, queen, on the billboard, on the highway, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hand on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the road, they think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Put on the gas. And it's Kai Sang. Kai Kids. Kai Kids. Yeah. I know myself. Mm. Do you know yourself? Yes. Uh huh. Even when I don't know myself, I know that I don't know myself in that moment, and I'm like, okay, with and it. And that's the self-awareness yeah. that you need sometimes. Yeah. In what ways has the the, in the past year transformed your entire life? Ooh. Ooh. I knew it was going to change, but mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to change me at the level or impact me at the level that it impacted me mm -hmm. at, you know. Um, it's ridiculous, like I'm not the same person I used to be at all. In what ways? Um, I think I've shredded so much of myself. Mm. Um, the good, the bad, you know, because mm. sometimes you think you're doing something good, but it's actually not good, but it doesn't mm. matter at the end of the day. Because um, right now I'm just like, um, I'm in a phase where I'm in the infancy or the newborn mm. phase of who I'm meant to become now, and I'm oh. like, completely comfortable with it now. Oh, that's delicious. Even yeah. when we were speaking before we started rolling, you were saying, you don't think you've woken up from... No. You don't think you've, you've arrived at the moment of realisation. Maybe no. that's a good place to be in that no. you should never... <clears throat> I will you know, never get used to it. Mm -hmm. Like, I never... I thought, I maybe during everything, I thought, okay, get that trailer. I just need a moment and this. Then we're done and I'm like, hey, Mara, still, hey? <laughs> still, like, I'm just like... I get I get And you've been working mm. for a long time. But so they'll think that, okay, leading lady on The Wife, season three, oh my gosh, where's this woman been? And you're just like, I've been here. I've been here. I've been knocking on some doors. Especially since 2017, you graduated. Yes. Done and dusted. What helped you stay the course? Because 2017, you knock. Mm -hmm. 2018, the, and it's not to say that when you graduated, it's only when you started knocking. You were knocking before then. Of course. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Yeah. 2022. That's how many years? That's six years. Yeah, and I've been knocking since matric. I started wow. knocking in matric. That's when you started auditioning. That's when I started trying to get an agent. Wow. You know, trying to, so that by the time I moved this side, I already have something. Mm. And it was hard. You know, um, yeah, I know it was tough. All the knocking, all the knocking, because you go through phases where you question yourself. Am I doing the right thing? Am I not supposed to be here? I don't mm. want to be those people, you know, that like audition. Could you wouldn't make? And they really believe that they can sing, <laughs> but it's, it's not honey, you know? I don't want to be like that, you know? So you just, I just kept going. And then I went through phases where I, I did question myself and I thought perhaps this is not it you know, um, mm. where I doubted myself, where I didn't even know if this is what I wanted anymore because it's so sore. Rejection hurts, especially mm. because you start to compare yourself with everyone else around you because we see each other at these auditions, you know. We yes. watch each other, we support each other, but when are we both sort of, oh, yeah, no, nah. Mm. You know, the same production house will call you to audition all the time, but they don't give you a <laughs> job. And you're like, guys, why are you doing Hunter this King. to me? You know, but when it's your time, it's your time. When God says yes, 
it all makes sense. Even the mm. why I had to wait for so long, why I had to fight for so long, because it did something for my character. It did something for me as a person. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think I'm, I've also handled what I'm everything the way that I did now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you may have you've developed in your maturity an appreciation mm. for moments like this. Yeah, and sometimes the little things like how you engage with people on set, how yeah. you engage with your script, how you engage with the work, exactly. with your craft, without the consistent, what seemed like a no at the time, mm -hmm. you'd be like, okay, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go work, with, but now you're just like, I'm gonna work. Literally. And I'm gonna leave. Exactly, and mm. then you have a moment with your characters and you're like, okay, why does this feel so close to me? Why does it feel so real? Oh, wow. You know, why does, why does it feel like, so easy why does it feel like they are a part of me like where do they come from inside of me and i remember someone saying sometimes the characters choose you Oof. not the other way around so when i heard that i was like i completely understand that because that's how i feel about all the characters that i've played mm. the way it all happened the way i came to those characters i was like this is not normal mm. this makes me feel things this this keeps me up at night, this makes me cry, I feel like I'm losing my mind, but there's like a connectivity that I could just never explain to anyone who's never been through it. What was your height of your experiencing, my lady? The height of you like, woo! So in what you mentioned that, we are thinking, I'm not Khaisang, and I might never be Khaisang. I am my lady in this moment. So the height, or when I had those moments where I was like, okay, now I'm being my lady, is like when you know they say it's a rap, and you need to go home, mm. and you take all of the stuff off. I literally had mm. things that I went home with that like, were her. Like? Like, I had a ring that I actually got from the author that I wore religiously. And I'm not the only female that did that, right? Um, the outfits. Yeah. So I had, I literally, and I still have it, I have a two-piece, a pink two-piece that says Dr. Naledi Monso. Oh, come on. Be between season two and season three, when we had that break, I would literally, I whooped out a straight wig my sister bought for me like years back that I never wear. And I'd wear it, I went to go buy a scrunch, and I would literally wear that with a scrunch. And I would, I would do that. Because mm. I, I don't know, I, I don't want to call it method. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> method acting. That's a bit hectic, but yeah. I would do that. And I just, that's how I'd connect with her. I'd mm. write letters to her. I'd listen to what she has to say to me, what she's teaching me today. Fight. Sometimes I don't want you. Just leave me alone. Mm. Sometimes I want to make a decision based off of me, but I can't because of her. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes I want to really like do something or I don't want to do something, but she won't let me. That sounds so insane. It does. But... <laughs> But it's, it's process, yeah. it's craft. Mm. And from the outside looking in, people will say, oh, you're getting the superstar moment, you're stepping into your light, but you're like, but the work. Yeah. Realizing her every day. I'm not playing this character. I have I to am. live her out, yeah. And also, mm. you need to also remember, even if you feel like you are the character, you still have to respect everyone else involved in the process. Mm -hmm. So you can't be selfish about it. Yeah. So if someone says no, do it this way, or we want this way. You can only argue to a certain <laughs> point. You know, yes. you, have to, you have to respect it still. And you also can't judge her, because there were so many moments, especially oh, with, in that emotional oh, roller coaster that we all got to watch, the tug of war, the love story, the love-hate oh. motions and, and, and things that we, that we as audiences were exposed to. And you're just like, oh, ha. yeah. We all had those moments. I know. And, yeah. And people would get so frustrated with her. And I'd be there like, but don't you get it? <laughs> like, oh, why do you guys not see? Like, come on. Like, this, this person killed her brother. This person did this. Like, I'm there. And yeah. no one, no, no one cares. No one does. <laughs> but it was also hard for me as well. Because yeah. it's like, guys, she also doesn't want that for herself. Mm. She's lying to you. Mm. You know, do you guys not see? Like, she's lying. There's, there's, there was always... I was very intentional with how different I am in the two worlds. You know, yeah. like there's a certain way in which Naledi will look at Safako that 
no, the, 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 the lady will look at Kawe, which the fucker would never get, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a certain way I'll breathe when I'm with this one. There's a certain way in which I'll stay, you know, the, the famous, you know, that little weird thing she does. Yes. Yeah, things. Kawe, Kawe. <laughs> yeah, the, the way she says it, you know, there's, there's a difference. The way she'll hold this one's arm first, like it was. And those things can only come from a certain level of training. Yeah. Yes, it's 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 the gifting, it's mm -hmm. the talent, it's that intuitive, instinctive way of approaching your craft, mm -hmm. but also just that appreciation for the craft that you go, let me be more intentional here. Yes. Let me exercise it here. Let me yes, be disciplined exactly. in this way. That's gorgeous. I okay. Even, uh -huh. I even like went with, between the break. I literally would. I went to someone to, to help me develop this character. Like I took time to do that. Gorgeous. Yeah. So gorgeous. That's cool. Take notes, everybody. It's not all about the fame. It's not about the the gorgeousness. It's about <laughs> everything in between. Um, now, people may know now mm -hmm. um, from various interviews and conversations, and you've also shared on your social media platform your beautiful family. In one particular way, mm -hmm. uh, if you are a '90s baby, which I am, which you are. <laughs> Then you know of the legendary, iconic, I, I have to call him Dati. Of course. Ndate Dosto. Yeah. And the thing is, I hail for, as an alumni of Silly Matunz. I mean, I hope. Oh, yeah! Yes. Yes. You're a Dugu Dugu baby! I am a Dugu Dugu baby. Oh my god, yes! So we grew up watching Dosto Noche, and obviously you've had the influence of your family, holistically. Mm. Um, parents that have loved you, nurtured, fluffed out, and. Um, fashioned you mm. into the woman that we love today and appreciate today. In what ways has that also pushed you into entertainment? I am privileged in a sense that I could dream however I wanted to dream because I saw someone do it and someone very close to me. Mm. So he, yeah, he, there, was, he, there was a boundary between I'm going to work and this is my family. He was very good at doing that, you know, mm. but he also was very good at somewhat including me so I can see, you know. So I, I remember the trips to SABC. Mm. I remember the sets, you know. Mm. Today you're seeing this person, tomorrow you're seeing that. So I remember thinking, okay, so it is possible. And then you watching these films or these shows that he's in, but he's sitting with you. So mm -hmm. it was never too far for me. Mm. Like I could dream like that. Whereas other people, they don't have that immediate privilege. And access. And access. Yeah. Mm. And was there a moment for you where the pictures were being asked for? Or were there, oh, were there selfie cameras then? No. During the Dosto no. era? No. Where? No. That's, I think that's so cool. That it was just the... It Medisa. And there was that respect. Oh. So how then, in watching the reactions that your father would receive and knowing the reaction that you receive now, Mm -hmm. How are they contrasting? Because now it's the, whoa, yo, 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 yeah, can I, can I? Yeah. And then you saw a, a different kind of approach. Yeah, but also, I don't know if it's because he's a man. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. I don't know if it's because he's a man and he's, mm. and like you were saying, times were so different. There was no social media also back then. Mm. So when you see them, it's like, hey, <laughs> Whereas with us, we kind of get to connect with some of the people before they experience us, so then they really, really feel like they know us, even though they don't. Mm -hmm. But back with him, it was always, they would just greet him. Oh, daddy, oh, bra, oh, dugu dugu. Then mm -hmm. share a young love, some would shake his hand, mm -hmm. respectfully leave. And he would always smile. Whether we're there or not, he would always take a moment, greet, smile. Mm -hmm. Then when the camera era started coming in, Greet, smile, take the picture, blush, laugh with them. Life goes on. That's how he handled it. I've never seen him not handle it in a good way. Mm. Shout out to him. <laughs> Are you handling it in a good way? Um, yeah, I try. Even yeah. when I'm not having a good day, mm. I just suck it up and I smile. Like, okay. Because I always say, every thing, whatever we do, there's a responsibility that comes to it. With, mm. with it. So with us... People watch us, people take the time out, so they connect with us, you know, they connect with the story you're telling, whatever you're teaching them. So mm. it's hard, I know, it's very hard for us, but it, 
doesn't take away how you make someone feel in that moment. Mm -hmm. Because I never forget the way someone made me feel. So I hope that whoever I encounter goes with a, p a good feeling about mm. themselves, about me. Yeah. And they leave knowing that you're not just someone they've met, but someone they've experienced yeah, and encountered. Exactly. Now, you receive a brief. Uh, the year is 2022. Very controversial brief. Uh, deeply and highly coveted. Mm. You touched on the audition moment. You're like, ah, wanna, ah, wanna, ah. Just, yeah. just come on, just. <laughs> I'm, I'm the girl for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a big, as I say, halabalu. No, oh, it, it was a. Take us through the experience of um, having the courage first to audition mm -hmm. for this role, mm -hmm. and then that finally the full circle moment of. It is yours. Okay, so hmm. the 21st of January, mm -hmm. 2022, I'm shooting. I'm on set, I'm shooting. House of Zwitte. Yeah, yes. it's my, I think it was my second week back because Mambo had left. Mm -hmm. So we're shooting, we're shooting. Now my, my agent is blowing up my phone, you know, and I'm like, she never act like this. What's going on? Then I open that. I still have that email. It's in my favorites, guys. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Hey, um, can Khai Sang send this tape? We need it today. We're looking for Khai Sang. This is what's happening. Mm. This is who the, this, this, this princess, her name is my lady, her name is this. And I just went, my, my, my stomach just went into a knot. Mm. I, still remember, I still have the outfit that I wore that day. <laughs> I still have my tapes. And normally, it was a Friday, so normally, you know, on set on Friday, uh, uh, when you're done, you're ready to come on. No, I, they said it's a wrap. I went to the makeup room. I'm like, I'm going to need you guys to touch me up. I'm going to need you guys to do this. I drove home. When I walked in, shame. I didn't even greet my parents, and they thought I was rude that day. I was like, <laughs> we got to go. Let's do this. Do the tape, submit it. Um, I don't sleep that evening. I downloaded <laughs> the pirated version of the book. <laughs> I did confess to the, own, the owners, and I started reading it, and I slept at 2 a.m., and before I slept, I said a prayer to God, and that was that. And the next morning, I had no money. I was like to my mom, I'm gonna need you to actually buy me the real stuff, like I need to, the real book. Mm. I call my older brother, I'm like, I'm gonna need you guys to give me your show max stuff, like I need to. Put me on. I need to see, mm. because I'd heard about it, I'd seen how people are responding to it, I just didn't have access to it mm -hmm. you know and I, now I'm reading I'm watching I'm studying and I'm just like okay okay and the amount of times the word Naledi would pop up mm. from that from the 21st till the 28th of Feb is ridiculous yeah that's how it went I never slept for a while I just became anxious my stomach was always sore a week later, I went in for my callback slash first chemistry test. So tell us how, okay, so for someone who's hearing the term chemistry test for the first yeah. time, what is that? Or what was the experience that you had? Because they vary from person to person, mm -hmm. but you went into that room and then what was the expectation of you? So they gave us a script, obviously, right? So to explain chemistry tests, chemistry tests is if you're going to play a couple, they want to see how you guys interact with each other. If you're mm -hmm. going to play mother and daughter, best mm -hmm. friends, what is the vibe yeah. between you two? Do you guys just naturally just come together? Mm. Do you give what we're looking for? I guess, right? Mm -hmm. So I get my script, I read it. I'm like, hey, let's go, you know? Yeah. You get there, you sit down. But I was always nervous. Like, this was the one <laughs> audition that every process, I was just always nervous. I was just like, ish. It's not hunting and it's frustrating because you we do it so many times that you kind of the nerves go away you know how to mm -hmm. handle it you go in you walk out but this was different we walked in there and i remember we had a struggle with language mm. right so i am supposed to do it kaswana ubuasizulu it's a bit tricky but i can hear isizulu right so yeah. i was like okay no matter what happens just do these two things listen to what he's saying. If you can respond with your broken isiZulu here and there, do that mm -hmm. and just look. Just listen and look and be present in the moment. And that's all that I did. Yeah. And it sounds like those two were more than enough. Yeah. 
Just those two. Th yeah, I was like, because I was overthinking it. I was like, no, I'm forgetting my lines because I'm this, and I'm like, hi, just relax, breathe. Listen, just listen. In this moment, the biggest thing is for you to just listen mm. to what the direction they're giving us and to how you are responding to this person that doesn't know me, I, know, I don't know them, but we somehow have to do this thing now. So, mm. yeah. And, and then I went. Yeah. Like, Sure. And that was, that's that. And the rest, as they say, is history. Doesn't matter what came after that. Mm -hmm. What matters is that moment happened and no one can ever take that away from me. What does a day in the life of Kai Sang playing Na Lady look like? Okay, so she wakes up. At what time? The earliest would be four. A.M.? Okay. Lutile. Lutile ka 4 a.m. Luna ba shulanki 7 a.m., 8 a.m. to go to school. She wakes yeah, up at 4. 4 she wake up at 4, yes. And keep in mind, you, I probably slept at like midnight because you have to prepare for the next day. You have to go through your scenes. Sure. You know, you have to, and we know we shoot, we shoot out of sequence, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to understand where the character's coming from, where they're going in the, in the, mm -hmm in whatever scene was the beginning, the middle, or the end, what are the Absolutely. top emotions, secondary emotions, what is she going through? You need to make sure that's right. So you wake up 4 a.m., you get to set. Then, oh, I always pray before I leave. I always pray, I go on my knees, I'm like, okay, let's go. Then you get to set, you go to makeup, which was always very interesting for me, you know, because I felt like my lady took so much of me. Mm. You know, I was like, no, guys, bring the hair, bring the face, like mask her because it's frustrating. Because now I come to work, I look at myself, you guys say, shoot that ole joalo. Then I go home and I have to mm. look at this. So you're not adding anything. And like, sh sh everything of mine is now hers and I don't want to share with her today. And I just <laughs> yeah. want to, get don't want to, I, I want to give her hair. Yeah. I don't want my hair. You know, and every time, mm. and she affected my mood a lot. My characters affect my mood, even with Mumpo, the same thing. Mm. Um, if they're having a bad day, chances are you'll find me very moody very emotional, mm. I don't want to do anything. We're fighting in makeup because just hide my eye bags, just do mm. this, you know? Um, so that was day with me on set. Then you get to set and you shoot. And you rock. And you rock. Whether you feel like it or not, you rock. And how many hours is that? Ma'am, 12 hours a day. 12 hours a day. Yeah. And when you're leaving on that level, it's you're in pretty much every, every scene. scene. And the reason why I ask you this question is because I need people who say they want to act, who say Understand. they want to work, yeah. who say, and I'm talented. Mm. I want to get into the industry to understand that it's not, it's not a point of arrival. No. It's a consistent journey. Yeah. And those journeys look like 12 hour days and 4 a.m. call times. Exactly. I love, I love that. I love that you approach storytelling with those sentiments because I remember one of the first conversations I had when I'd met Gwenzo and he was speaking about the ensemble mm. and how everyone believes in lifting each other, which yeah. reminds me of this tweet. Uh, this storyline was actually quite interesting. It showed me that power and jealousy can really drive a person into doing the most horrific things. But seeing Naledi and Sidi team up and be, uh, it was beautiful to see. Didn't yeah. think it would happen, but yeah, that's from Dedication N. The power of an ensemble, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Mm. To, we're having people around you that go, okay, we lift. Yeah. We support. Yeah. We give, we take. Yes. We exchange. Stepping into a space that was a pre established ensemble. Woo! That was tough. Where they already probably had a. Eh, 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 yeah. This was already going on. When yes. you work with each other long enough, mm. especially with the brothers, oh, yeah. you're stepping into something where that's already there, but also you're stepping in at this level. Mm. Yes, understanding that we're all equals within the space, mm -hmm. but the power of ensemble what did that mean for you so I knew that I had to step in and first of all I respect these people they have been here longer than I am so there are certain things that they mm. understand and there's a rhythm that they work with that I'll probably need to learn mm -hmm. right and then once I got that down then I can start to find my space yeah then I can start to see okay where do, they, where do I come in? How, how do I come in? And yeah, that's how it was. It was very, it's like a, imagine a train moving <laughs> and it's not stopping. You have to somehow 
jump on it while it's moving, find your balance, <laughs> and then find the room you're meant to be in. And everybody tries to assist you, of course, but also, you know, there's like that internal thing that you, you will go through, mm -hmm. trying to navigate the space for a while, and then mm -hmm. you find it, and then you're like, okay. Okay, then you get to know everyone, you get to see how everybody does things, and mm. you learn from them, and then after that, you like, okay, I see how you guys do it, now this is how I do things. Mm -hmm. So that's how it would work. One thing that we can be certain of, in what you will already mention, is that you're very easy to love. You're a likable person. <laughs> it's you. just like you step into a room, you have this smile, <laughs> woo, smiley, woo! <laughs> what a Stop gorgeous it. smile, oh, yes. And you extend that playfulness to your social media as well. Yeah. If we see your TikTok, it's one challenge after another. Yeah. You don't take yourself seriously. No. Or too seriously. No. You take yourself seriously enough. Yes. How do you approach your relationship with social media? Especially in an era and a time where people feel so entitled Ooh. to opinions, to commentary and everything in between. Mm. At first, it was easier because it was just me and my small people, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you know, and then one day you wake up and you're like, and I'm like, okay. Um, and, you know, people really, uh, my thing was I just always want people to see me for who I am on social media. So I'm not mm -hmm. going to pretend like I always have it together because I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend like... I have all these things that belong to me or that I go to these places because I really don't. I'm actually quite boring, but in my boringness, I'm very content and very happy because I'm surrounded by love. I'm surrounded by things that make sense to me and I always want people to see it. So I always want social media to be a true reflection of how I am. So when you experience me in person and you see my social media, it must be, there must, something must connect mm. instantly. Mm -hmm. So that's how I approach it. Certain platforms, Try not to approach them at all. And that's <laughs> like, fine. Like, like Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Like Twitter. You are chef's kiss. Oh, you are you. all things scrumptious. Um, talk to us about the foreseeable future. 2023 promises to be a blessed year for you. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you're working on that you want to share? Uh, yeah. Get, oh. Oh, you look like you want to say yes. Um, I always have the same answer for that question. Mm -hmm. What does the future look like? It's the same Every way is my favorite answer to give. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what my drive to home holds. I don't know anything. All I know is that with me, the sky isn't the limit. God is. So whatever God wants to bring my way, whatever God wants to teach me, I'm open to it. Whether I like it or not, whether it makes me happy or not, let's go, God. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. Won't he do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, won't you do it? I will come to the party. You're doing do it. it. Yes. You're doing it. You're doing it. You. We love you. We love to love you. you. We appreciate you. I've had so many comments saying, can we please get guys on the show? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we get that lady from the wine? Yeah. The and you're here. Thank so you. thank you for being a fulfilled promise in every single way imaginable and we wish you a life of many more promises fulfilled thank you and thank you as well for doing this for us giving us a moment to chat to reflect and mm. it's safe we don't get that a lot you know oh. from someone who also understands the process the journey the environment god bless you mama thank you i could take my wig off to that <laughs>
and phenomenal people like you. Thank you once again for giving us love and showing us your appreciation just by investing your time in watching this episode and getting to know this woman a little bit more. I can't wait to have you on the show a year from now, speaking Yay. about a plethora of things you would have achieved and the amazing shows we would have seen you on direct. Are we directing soon? Not anytime soon. Okay. No, I don't think anytime soon. Okay. Yeah. And that's, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, but a year from now, let's see what the conversation is. Let's We're not pu pushing you into any corners. Yeah. Um, we just want to watch you win. Thank you. And you make it so easy to stand in your corner. Thank you. But again, to all you lovers and the friends of uh, the Five Minute Call, thank you so very much. Once again, to the Alex Theatre, thank you so very much for having us in the space. You allow us to dream massively and you give us the facilities to do just that. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Function Studios. Woo! Thank you guys, the quality here, here. Just ask, I, I'm sure, just Mapu King, Mapu King, once, once, once. And yeah, once again from me, Dumelo Candice Murisele, it's been glorious, it's been delicious, it's been scrumptious, it's been all of these things. Consider yourselves super blessed. Hello, ladies.